Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're just doing a quick comparison between the brand new Sharpie Pro which is made for job sites and the Milwaukee Inksel which is, uh, I've been using this for about a year now, actually upgraded from the old uh, Sharpies and been loving this but um, yeah this is just the release so I thought I'd pick up the packet and we'll see how it goes. Let's have a look guys. Alright, so if we take a close up of the actual pen itself, as you can see, it's a sort of different design to their last ones. It is the larger base, which I'm not sure why they went with that. So far, I'm not a fan of that. I do rather the sleeker, smaller finish because this is actually a fine tipped pen. I have noticed that they have a little bit up the top here. I'm not sure if that's what they wanted, but I'll probably be putting like a lanyard around that and uh, maybe hanging it off uh, my tool bag. We'll see how that works. But it's not a bad looking pen. It's got a good uh, clip on the side there, which is great. I would compare the actual outside to the Milwaukee Fatter Pen. As you can see, it's sort of the same sort of style. Yeah, once again, not sure why they went, didn't go the smaller one, but anyway. So if we compare it, it's pretty much the same sort of tip. As you can see, so that's the tips. The lid is definitely harder to get off, at least at the moment. So that's definitely not falling off, which is good. So what I've set up here, as you can see, is just a tile. It's actually a rough finish. Um, it's not a gloss finish. And what I'm going to do, I've got a bit of water here, so I'm going to put a bit of water on. We're going to see how well the Sharpie goes compared to the Milwaukee. I'm going to put it through a little bit of dust. This is just concrete dust. And then I've actually got a bit of uh, timber just uh, to see how it goes. I had a bit of that floating around, so let's give it a look. So if we do the Milwaukee all up the top and we'll do the Sharpie down the bottom. So as you can see, it works pretty well on a rough surface so that's pretty much the same on concrete do the same in the sharpie so what it actually looks like it actually feels like it's a softer brush so it's harder to get a smaller line I'll put that next to it I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit of a sharper line so if that's what you're after both of these are both brand new as well. So if I throw just a little bit of water. I don't want too much because you're not really going to be riding in a pool of water. But you might be riding on a wet surface. So we'll do the Milwaukee. As you can see, it starts to get pretty bad there. It's going through water the whole time, so we've got water the whole way there. Sort of just keeps going. Obviously, it's going to be a bit watered down, but if you're doing marks, so on a normal pen, what you'll find and what I used to find with the old Sharpies is you wouldn't be able to get it to go again. They would, um, the tips would just bugger out. So that's sort of why I went to the Milwaukee. There you go, working fine again. So they both do recover well, but the main difference is basically that, as you can see, a fairly big difference. Obviously, this is a bit of an exaggeration. Like, obviously, you'll probably brush this out of the way on a main work site, but a lot of you guys will know this scenario. And the pens just bugger out. If you can see that on the end. It's got a bit of dust on it. It's sort of destroying the tip.
so the tip's definitely not sharp anymore, but you can still mark with it. So that's not bad. If you get a sharpie. Definitely find the difference. You can feel it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's a lot thicker. You can feel this. Um, it feels like a soft tip compared to the Milwaukee. Which might affect it here. No, not really. So same sort of thing. It's definitely destroying the tip, as you can see. Try to focus. It's definitely destroying the tip. But still works pretty well. I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, not too bad. So I'm not expecting a huge difference with the dust. This is just MDF from one of my last jobs. Yeah, same thing. The wood doesn't really affect it too much. So you can definitely still mark with it. So both of them have done pretty well. So I figured I might just turn it over. I'll do this the sharpie side. Really get those grooves wet. So we got the sharpie. I've just sort of cleaned it with my fingers. That's obviously a lot of water in those gaps. But you can still, with the Sharpie, look at that, that's really not too bad. You can still get marks out pretty well. So that's obviously an exaggeration. You're not really gonna be doing too much work in that much water. Clean that, as you can see, it, it's back to working really well. And the tip, I don't know if you can see that, the tip's actually come good again. So, so that's not bad at all. If we go to the Milwaukee, you can see the tip's not looking too good on that. Look at the difference. Pretty much useless at the moment. So it takes a while. I don't know if we can get this back to working again. Oh, there we go. There you go. So it's come back to life, which is good. That's definitely a good thing about these pens. So we're back to marking pretty well. So I'll be pretty happy with that afterwards, but during, you're not really getting a mark in some decent water. All right, so that's a quick comparison of the Sharpie Pro, which is brand new, and the Milwaukee Inksel. Conclusions for myself, I'm leaning towards the Sharpie Pro. I was originally a Sharpie fan. Um, there wasn't much around at the time. This is a couple of years ago. Went to the Milwaukee Inksel, loved it, but I think uh, the Sharpie has now come out in front Definitely with the water, you can see that this lasts a lot longer. It just keeps going through the water. With When it comes to moisture, the insole just fails. Um, I'll be trying this out on site for a couple of months at least. I'll give you my thoughts later on. But yeah, it's definitely a thumbs up from me for the Sharpie Pro. And that's it guys. But don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, all that sort of stuff. Also head over to my Instagram. I give away a lot of free stickers. So wherever you are in the world, I don't care. I'll send them out to you for free. I've got a massive load of them coming um, to my address very soon. So I have got a huge amount of these to send off. But yeah, definitely hit me up on Instagram, Addicted to Tools. I've got a lot of other content out there. And uh, just keep up uh, enjoying the content, guys. Thanks.